morning, happy cooking. Today we are on a series for the alkaline series of cooking. So we want to teach you things that are actually going to help you revive those cells in your body. Today we're going to make a delicious broccoli soup. Let's talk about broccoli. Broccoli is not only helps you with cancer prevention, it's an anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, it helps detoxify the body. The three major metabolic problems in the development of cancer are chronic inflammation, oxidative stress, and an inadequate detoxification. So that's why we need to eat foods that help heal the body. And so foods like, uh, uh, that are really high in alkalinity. The second ingredient that we're going to use is um, cilantro. I love cilantro. Not only protects you against salmonella, it protects you against, uh, it's a natural collator of heavy metals, protects you against urinary tracts, uh, also is a powerful anti-inflammatory, great source of iron, and also great source of magnesium, which is actually great for the heart. Also, we're going to use avocado. Avocado is a great source of protein, also is an anti-inflammatory, and is highly alkaline as well, high in glutathione as well. And also, we're going to use almond milk. Almond milk is one of those nuts, the highest in alkalinity as well. Not only that, it's high in calcium and also protects you against bone uh, disease. So now, one of the things that we're going to start with is we're going to use the broccoli in the stock as well. A lot of times, people go to the supermarket and they just buy the broccoli florets. But why is that? Because sometimes they say, well, I'm not going to use this part. This part is amazing because you have a lot of fiber into it. So now what we're going to do is you take, you take the, the broccoli stock, and then what we'll do is we're going to get rid of the, um, the tough part. This is the tough matter that we can't really digest and we can't eat it. It's really high in cellulose. So what we do is take the, um, the broccoli stock first, get rid of any dried parts and also those big knots in there and now you know what to do. Now cut this other part over here and put it in the uh, compost department and so now what we're going to do is we're going to use Salamaster cookware. Why use Salamaster cookware? Well because Salamaster it helps protect the vitamins and minerals on the food. Not only has a little vapor valve that activates at 185 degrees precisely to preserve the vitamins and minerals. We should never cook our food over 200 degrees. We should always cook below 200. Why? Because every time that we cook our foods over 200 degrees Fahrenheit, what happens? It's an increment of white blood cells. And so they come and attack the food thinking that it's a foreign organism. So we need to keep all the temperature on all the foods, except on meats and all the, your vegetables and, so, and fruits if you're cooking them, we need to keep them below 200 degrees. So we're going to use Salamaster because it's non-chemical reactive and also has even heat distribution. So we can cook the broccoli without any water if we wanted to. But today we're going to use a little bit of water because we're using soup. So now we take the little crowns and you can just take them off by hand. Or if you wish, you can just take a knife and then just chop them up quickly. The key to this cooking the, the broccoli is to make sure that we keep the nutrients in. So what do we do? Okay, so what we want to do is make sure that we cook it at medium heat. Now what we'll do is we're going to add a little bit of water. And how much water? I'm only going to use approximately half a cup of water because I'm going to use the milk for blending the uh, broccoli. So what we do is we turn it to medium. We never use high. Make sure that... When you're using any Salon Master cookware that you want to cook at medium temperature. And as soon as the vapor valve click, which it takes about five minutes, you turn it down to low. And if you're eating this as a side dish, you want to turn it off and just let it sit in the pan for about five minutes and you'll have beautiful green crunchy broccoli. Whenever you lose the color, the beautiful color of broccoli, you have lost a lot of the vitamins already. Okay, and if you're losing the flavor, is you're losing basically the minerals of the foods. So now what we do is we take a blender. So these vegetables already, uh, once they click, we're going to turn it down to low and cook it for another five minutes. But we already were lucky enough that in television world, you can actually cut the time in half. And actually, you can do that with Salon Master as well. So take the broccoli that it has been cooked. Okay. 
and we can add the other broccoli later. And so now we're going to take some almond milk. An avocado. Oh, that's clicking still. Take half of the avocado. The avocado will help make them, the soup very creamy. Okay. So now we're going to take some of the cilantro. As I said, this is a beautiful um, herb that will help you chelate heavy metals. It also it, it helps if you have problems with nausea and uh, too much flatulence. Okay. So we need to start using the broccoli, okay? It also helps you preserve, preserve your foods, okay? So now we take a little pinch of sea salt. How much? I probably want to put about uh, a teaspoon. I didn't cook the broccoli with the salt. I'd rather put the salt while I'm going to uh, blend it. So let's blend this part. 45 seconds. Okay, so this soup altogether, it takes about... I say five minutes to cook the broccoli, 45 seconds, let's say six minutes, okay? So now we're going to pour in there, and now let's see this creation, how it tastes. Oh, to live for. You just have to come to our longevity cooking classes and taste this delicious recipe. If not, try it at home. Come on, become the creator. Until then, have a happy, healthy, and wealthy day.